Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Gen 2. The unit that Lenovo sent over for review is specced accordingly. We've got an Intel Core i5 1145G7 under the hood, 16 gigs of RAM, a half terabyte NVMe SSD, Intel Iris XE graphics, and a 13.9 Full HD IPS panel that I think is right around 400 nits when it comes to brightness. So. Who is this for? Essentially, what you're about to see is an ultrabook for business users that do not want to buy into something more expensive like the X1 Carbon. And this can be outfitted in several different varieties. You can actually even get a dedicated graphics card. Uh, this, of course, does not have it. As I mentioned, we just have Iris XE, but that is still uh, completely competent. And beyond it being more affordable, as I stated, this is also about retaining traditional uh, ThinkPad design. So the X1 Carbon, of course, gives you a little bit more flair. It's more of a luxury product, I would say, in the business world, whereas this, again, is all about giving you more of a traditional ThinkPad look and feel. And at $1,300, US again, starting point with uh, as mentioned, a little over three pounds of weight, I think this is going to be appealing to a lot of business users. So let's get this stuff out of the way. Let's take a look at the machine. And it pretty much is what you would expect. Uh, you know, matte finish, you know, fairly simple, straightforward. Uh, we actually have pretty solid I.O. Uh, but before I get to that, let me get rid of some of... Uh, the packing materials here and you know it is something where uh, just to remind everyone what the x1 carbon looks like these are very similar yet very different machines because the x1 carbon uh, pricier and again a little bit more design centric i think really uh, all about trying to give consumers uh, something slimmer, something a little bit less business-esque, but still retaining the entire ThinkPad look and feel. But focusing on uh, the T14 Gen 2, let's open this up. I will, of course, show you the I.O. Webcam, top center, matte uh, finish on the display. And, of course, we've got a bezel. So for those of you who hate the bezels, well, they're here to stay, at least on the second gen T14. Uh, the keyboard, that's one of the main reasons you're entertaining the ThinkPad to begin with, is that it still is, uh, without much argument, the best in the business when you are inside of a specific line like this. Uh, tremendous amount of key travel, really all the flexibility and options that a business user could want. You can see we have up-firing speakers right here, along with that power button, fingerprint scanner, VPro certified, uh, you can spec this out with a Core i7. The 16, 16 gigs of RAM, I believe, is soldered because um, in the specs that I got, there is one DIMM, and I believe uh, that first DIMM is soldered. So there is the ability available to upgrade that, uh, but be aware. You can, I think, spec this out with a 4K display, believe it or not. And uh, I'm not sure what battery life is going to be like, but I'm not expecting anything crazy because that's not really what this machine is aimed at being. Again, a more affordable version of the X1 Carbon and with traditional ThinkPad design language. Uh, so the display looks good, at least as far as I can tell. Uh, I'm going to put this uh, through the paces, but let's go ahead. And by the way, there is a privacy switch for the camera. Let's go ahead and take a look at the I.O. Uh, this is driven by a 65 watt charger. So uh, that's what's here in the box. I'm going to leave that out because I'm not expecting anything uh, new or crazy there. Uh, Kensington, uh, Kensington lock, an Ethernet port, type A USB port. By the way, you can spec this out uh, with it comes with Wi-Fi 6E on board Intel's latest chip. But in the event you want uh, 4G capability, you can get a wireless radio. Make sure you customize that, though. Uh, even though the slot, I believe, is already empty, you're going to want Lenovo to actually wire that in. Uh, nothing on the front other than that privacy switch that, as I just pointed out, uh, is for the webcam. And then this is where all of the action happens. We have a card reader, so this already you know, appeals to me as a user that really does not love machines, and I can say that uh, with my heart in it, that don't give you a way to read 
cards. Uh, so here it is a micro SD card, headphone, microphone, combo jack, HDMI out, another type A port, and then we have a Thunderbolt 4 port. And basically Lenovo has retained uh, their docking uh, capability. Uh, this can support essentially every dock uh, that has been around for the last several years that Lenovo pitches uh, in tandem with these sort of machines. And then of course, yet another Thunderbolt 4 dock uh, that has the charging uh, icon because, well, that's what they expect you to do with that port. Uh, but pretty solid I.O. Again, Ethernet on an Ultrabook. Um, there is, I believe, what would be the slim, uh, SIM slot uh, in the event you actually go with the 4G uh, chipset on board. And, you know, pretty straightforward. Again, at $1,300, US uh, you are getting, I think, a pretty solid uh, machine, lightweight, uh, nothing flashy, but that's the premise of the ThinkPad T14. Uh, 14 inches, uh, I think that the obvious initial early critique anyone could give is that the bezels could be smaller, but that's not, this machine isn't about uh, trying to be sexy and appeal to the general consumer. It's more about one size fits all for business. And I think that's where this gets employed a lot. So uh, large corporations that are looking for, again, a lightweight, competent, uh, machine to give to staff, this pretty much fits the bill. And why would they want to spend more on something like the X1 Carbon? Uh, there's no reason at all. Um, and considering the multitude of configurations, the fact that you can get a dedicated GPU uh, on here, I think it's the MX450, a 1650 essentially rebranded, less uh, VRAM, I think, uh, but don't quote me on that. The point is, is that the fact that they even give you uh, an actual dedicated GPU option is impressive. But overall, this is meant to be a workhorse, something that employees uh, and people alike in general can take with them and get work done. And that is really its purpose. And I think if you aren't looking or don't need uh, the X1 Carbon, then this is a pretty good looking option. Again, the X1 Carbon, you know, a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter, um, and I think a little bit sharper overall, but is that really what everyone is looking for? Definitely not. And the X1 Carbon, high gloss there, if you didn't notice, um, is still, I'm trying to point that up, still pretty beefy on uh, the actual bezel. So it's not like the T14 is on another planet. Yes, the bezels are a little bit bigger, but is it really worth the conversation? I'm not saying I prefer... Uh, one over the other, but food for thought considering uh, the discrepancy, the difference in pricing overall. So different machines, different strokes for different folks, but they both promise to be uh, solid Ultrabooks. So we'll see how the T14 Gen 2 does. Again, essentially the budget version of the X1 Carbon. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them at that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.